Welcome, Kayla. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Well, that's good. You have a lot to talk about. You have your first <laughs> full-length album out. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm real proud of it. Good. And Jason Eady produced it. He did. It's the first record that he produced, actually. Um, and he sang on the, the first single we released from it. We did a, a duet called South Side of Town. So right. Really excited about that. I bet but, you are. How do you know Jason? Um, I tour managed for him for a few years. I met him through um, Dick Gimbel mm -hmm. in Waco. Um, actually, we met in Lukenbach and just really everything happened kind of when it was supposed to. Um, his guitar player and I have two co-writes. South Side of Town is one of them on the record. Um, his name is Nick Dinner. But yeah, we're just a, a big music family. I took some time off from school to, uh, to go tour manage for my degrees in commercial music management. So I thought, oh wow, you know, that degree really doesn't mean much except what you do with it. Yeah, um, especially having done it, that's that sure. fills the degree out. Yes, ma'am. I'm I'm hoping so. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I had a blast. I learned so much. So when they anytime they were out full band, I tour managed for them. So I just left that in January to tour the record. So okay, I yeah. got you. So is school over with? I have six hours left. Oh wow! And they're the awful like microeconomics <laughs> and the mundane stuff that you know. Nobody, oh, but but I'll you'll do it eventually. You'll do it. I think being with the Gimbals. And being with Jason is probably an education in itself. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Man, the Gimbals, too, they've been great. Dick and Marilyn, his wife, have been a big part of my life for a long time. And you sang a little bit with the Texas Playboys? I did. When I was um, 18, 19, and 20, we did um, a Christmas ball tour. Oh, how fun. It was a blast. Wow. Well, in, in Texas or all over? Um, Texas and then southern Oklahoma was as far as I went with them. But it was, yeah, it was really fun. Everybody dressed to the nines and we did old swing stuff. Oh, how great. Yeah. Wow. I would love to have seen that. <laughs> it was fun. fun. Well, let's talk about the, the real key to love and liquor. Sure. Uh, and that is that you're a traditionalist of the first order. Yeah. Um, that's fascinating to me. You know, I, I, I thought your EP was called Girl with the Band, is that right? Yes, ma'am. And I thought to myself, no, this is woman with the real band. Oh, how funny. <laughs> well, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, um, that first EP I released when I was 20, I guess. Um, and now you are? I'm uh, 24. Oh, well, so. long time ago. Yeah, right, it feels like a yawns ago. Um, yeah, my grandparents raised me, and my grandmother loved good country music, and so I didn't have much of a choice about it, but I wouldn't have traded it. I, I loved it from an early age. Um, I feel like when music in any genre is real, they sing about the truth, even when the truth hurts a little bit. And so it kind of became my only constant. And uh, yeah, I just love, I love country music, and I'm not really capable of much else, so <laughs> it's kind of just the way it comes out. But. Well, and you think about just from the standpoint of Great voices plus great lyrics. Patsy Cline. Sure. Uh, Loretta Lynn. Tammy Wynette. Yeah. You know, these were people who were not dealing with happy, happy country, country. Right. Uh, they were dealing with tough problems that real people experience in the world. And that's what made their music so incredible, I, you know, to me. Well, if I want to get love and liquor, if I want to find out where you're playing, how do I do that? Um, you just visit KaylaRayMusic.com, and if you do the digital thing, we do iTunes, Amazon, or if you're a Spotify user, we chose to do that also. Oh, did you? Yes, ma'am. How did you make that decision? I just thought, with it being the first release, you know, I feel like some of the bigger artists are really picky with their masters. I just thought, if anybody will listen to it, I'm thrilled. <laughs> yeah, you want to be heard. Yes, ma'am. Um, and especially because it is pretty off the mark as far as country music today country music is concerned. I just thought if anybody will listen, hopefully it'll draw them out. And the schedule is on KaylaRayMusic.com as well. Well, let me ask you about what you just said. Sure. It's off the mark. What you mean is it's not typical. Sure. Jason Eady's not typical. Right. Um, and yet you both put out such great songs. Is that a mission? Is that something you're trying to achieve? Or do you just do it because that's what you do? Uh, I'd say it's a, a healthy dose of, dose of both. Um, I just, I love country music, real country music, too much to see it watered down or um, you know, the message is sacrificed or compromised to make a dollar or for it to be poppy or to fit into some formula. So I just go in, and some of it is out of ignorance and truth, you know, it, they say ignorance is bliss, but I just write the way that I write and we just arrange it the way that we hear it. When we were making that record, we poured over um, 
serving 190 proof, uh, that was Merle Haggard's record, he was 41 at the prime of his career. Mm -hmm. He kind of out sang his youth, but wasn't really, you know, aging. And um, back to the bar rooms, I just, I love those arrangements, you know, you just sit and every time you hear them, they rip your guts out. And I just, if, if it doesn't move you, there's not a point, you know? Yes, if it doesn't move you, there's not a point. This is Kayla Ray, and if you love traditional, you're going to love what Kayla does. Thanks Thank for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah.